Hello, Berlin! Woo! <coughs> Sorry, you have to excuse me because uh, I'm a bit sick. I think I got some kind of infection. By the way, when you have an infection, you're not alone. You've got your immune system that protects you. Let me briefly explain to you how it works. Imagine it's a sunny, beautiful day. You're walking on the street, you're happy, and then suddenly, bzzz, what? Bzzz, a fly, a pathogen in front of your face. Ugh, get off me! You're trying to kill it. But what do you know about this fly? Well, in fact, you know nothing. You don't know if it's poisonous or not. You don't know if it bites or stings. You don't even know to which kind of biological species it belongs to. Well, do you really care? Nah! All you want is just to get rid of this as quick as you can. And this is how your innate immune response works. It is very rapid, but very unspecific. And in many cases, this is not enough. But while you're doing this, you're actually learning something about this fly. You're learning how fast it can move. You're learning on which height it flies. You can sort of predict where it will be in a second. And then you focus, gather your strength, and <laughs> you kill it. And this is how your adaptive immune response works. It is targeted, it is precise, but it is delayed. So this is a very general overview on our immune system. Uh, so first, when we encounter a pathogen, we don't know what it is, and we don't really care, we just want to kill it, no matter what. But often it's not efficient, so then later we learn something about this pathogen, and then we apply a specific weapon which is necessary to kill this pathogen. But of course, our immune system is way more complicated than this, and actually the job to protect us is done by many immune cells. And among many cells, there are some that are really cool. Special cells called macrophages. From ancient Greek, macros means big and phagin means to eat. Macrophage, big eater. Well, just like me. <laughs> macrophage is like a Pac Man, except that it's a little bit more sexy. It's coming. The job of a macrophage is to swallow, digest, and destroy different microbes, dead cells, basically everything which is foreign to us. But sometimes there are things macrophage really should not swallow. Like Leishmania, a tropical parasite that causes a disease called Leishmaniasis. Look, I only know how to say these words because I study this, okay? <laughs> when Leishmania gets inside our body, Macrophage finds it, and then it swallows it. <laughs> but it cannot digest it. <laughs> Worse than that, Lishmania loves being inside the macrophage. It uses its resources and starts dividing, and then divides and divides, and macrophage feels terrible. It can even die. This disease appears in the form of a skin lesion. But if our immune system is strong enough, it will later help the macrophage, it will activate it, and the macrophage will be able to say no to this infection. <laughs> and by no, I mean it will start producing nitric oxide, the molecule that will kill the parasite. <laughs> so if our immune system is strong enough, macrophage will be saying, no, 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 no. <laughs> I will kill the parasite and be happy and healthy. <laughs> but I study a very special case of this disease. When this disease is usually uh, targets the face, and in this situation that I study, this parasite, this Lishmania, doesn't come alone. It comes with a partner, another pathogen, a virus. You see, many, many years ago, these two, a parasite and the virus, they met, and they really liked each other. <laughs> they really fell in love, and they decided to stay together forever. In fact, the virus lives inside the parasite. And they coexist into this symbiotic relationship when they're always together and it's beneficial for both of them. So now I have to make a very important disclaimer so you guys don't get confused. And I hate to disappoint you, but in real life, neither the parasite nor the virus, they don't have these eyes in the form of a heart. <laughs> I know it sucks, yeah. It's just a representation. But the macrophage looks exactly like this. 
So when Lishmania with the virus gets inside our body, macrophage finds it and then it swallows it. And then again, it cannot digest it. This time, parasite with the virus inside starts dividing. And macrophage senses the virus and it wants to say no, but it can't because Lishmania blocks the mechanism. So instead of screaming no, it can only silently whisper no. <laughs> and then it starts producing other molecules, which are the signals to other cells. Ah, oh, I ate something bad. Please help me, please. But it's too late. There are so many parasites inside the macrophage, they basically burst it from inside. But the signal was sent already. So all the other macrophages rush there to rescue their colleague. And this is where I need your help because the computer is super slow. So they're coming in five, four, three, two, one, zero, yeah. Thank you. So. They're coming and they start swallowing freshly released parasites and they also get infected. And then it goes on and on and on and on. The situation gets really bad, like really bad. <laughs> so what actually happens... So what happens is that when the parasite with the virus gets inside their body, our immune system doesn't see it as a fly, but it sees it as a huge scary monster and it just like starts panicking, going crazy like this, unstoppable. Yes, it goes completely out of control and starts destroying our own tissue. Because of all this loop of you know, inflammation and the molecules and the signals, so our immune system goes completely out of control and starts destroying our own body. Um, eventually, our adaptive immune response is able to protect us. But by the moment, we slapped ourselves so many times, there's almost no face left. <laughs> and this is actually how amazing the nature is. Because we, as humans, develop such a fascinating and complicated immune system to protect us against billions of pathogens. But these guys also evolved and they learned. They learned how to live and work together to become a super pathogen because together they're much stronger. And because of this coexistence between of them, the disease is much stronger. There's a lot of inflammation, tissue destruction, and actually the parasite with the virus inside lives longer. So, there is still no vaccine, and the drug treatments are limited, but I believe that by working together, scientists can find the cure. And we need your help, so I'd like to ask all of you right now to help us fight this disease. So if you can, please, raise your hands together. Come on. And now imagine that in between you have this parasite with the virus, and I want you now to kill it, start practicing your adaptive immune response. Thank you, Sean. Thank you so much, Dimitri Kobelianski. Dein Applaus. Vielen Dank.